this i'm just gonna take this quietly and go <laughs> how did none of you see this goodbye hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a thrift haul um for my resellers i'm gonna show you guys what i got for this week in my goodwill bins thrift haul i'm gonna show you guys everything i just picked out some pieces that i personally thought were the best and just like um i want to see trend wise or stuff that i would wear and also are people maybe my age group would wear so like I always group myself between 15 and 35, um, pretty wide range I think. But that's where I really group myself in like demographic for my reselling for like who I want to sell to and stuff. So I got some cute stuff that I'm going to be selling on eBay and Poshmark and out of all of them I just picked some pieces that I thought were cute or that I just like really wanted to show you guys. Um, like I have two really exciting pieces both for like reselling and in just terms of like a fashionable sense so guys I cannot wait till the last item you guys have to stick around to see what it is because it's so exciting and not only is it exciting it's like such a beautiful piece I'm like so considering just like keeping it and like holding on to it and like wearing that on my wedding day because it's just so beautiful and I can't wait for you guys to see what it is so yeah let's just get into this haul it's gonna be a short one because I'm about to film another thrift haul that um I thrifted for myself for spring summer so would you so be sure to subscribe for that and thumbs up this video and comment so you know we can have and share so we can have a little community here and um just discuss thrifting and like fashion and stuff because i want to know you guys' opinion so also be sure to tell me what your favorite piece is in the comments below and yeah let's get into this go well binge to call so i will keep on rambling and find something else to talk about first piece is a sweater it's off season yes you just saw that it was super heavy super thick it's off season kind of i mean i personally could still wear my big jacket outside i mean i live in new york it's kind of cold like all the time and i get cold really easily like recently i've been wearing if not my big north face i've been wearing this little jacket with like this like little cashmere sweater underneath that i might put on during this haul because get kind of chilly in here as well so anyway but like it's super thick kind of off season but it was still really nice and i mean like it'll sit until next winter if it has to but it might not but it's because it's really nice but it's and it's a men's piece so this is not i mean it's kind of it's warm anyway for my resellers this is something i picked up for recently so i got this big chunky blue knit sweater i mean like if you crop anything it could become fashionable so i mean i love the color it's really pretty and look at this like beautiful cable knit like um knitting it reminds me of like one of those big blankets that everyone's been doing like you know that they like hand knit like the really huge ropes and they like use their hands as like the needles for the knitting super cute that just reminds me of this and then it has this really beautiful fur it looks super really good condition i mean and then you can see and this is zara men's uh i'm pretty sure this will probably sell for like forty dollars so i'm gonna list it for like forty dollars i'm pretty sure because it's really heavy it's actually kind of heavy to hold up um let me see wool oh it's moda acrylic and a polyester but still i'm gonna price it i'm pretty sure it could sell for like 40 dollars if not right now then you know it'll sit until next winter which is fine by me such a pretty color it goes so nicely with my outfit i like that it's so cute <laughs> okay so this one's like more like fashionable and um Again, with that same color um, scheme in my last thrift haul, if you haven't watched it, I told you that I picked up like a lot of stripes recently. 
um here's some more like i picked up like four this might be my fourth top that i picked up that looks like this yeah because i picked up i think three in my last haul and then i thought this was like one of them from my last haul but i don't think it is i think it's from this haul and yeah it definitely is so i just finished all of those items today so it is for this haul this is like my fourth striped shirt that i found um at the bins and it's so cute i love these i like the like blue stripes this one is polo ralph lauren i um like i told you in the thrift haul before the last thrift haul i think that i've been picking up the polo ralph lauren now and so far it's been going pretty good for me i mean i made a couple of sales on the items i actually have one that i need to ship so i mean like yeah i think this is a go-to and like it's like zara for me in new york city bins where you just find a ton of it like there's just so much to resell and i like this like 30 market price range so yeah so there's this this big whoa this um it's really big i think it could fit me a little oversized i think it'd be cute if you like tied it in the front make it like cropped or you can wear it like this too super cute super good condition like it looks almost unworn really but it's like a basic so staple to have a size medium polo ralph lauren oh my gosh yo there's like a color scheme going on here okay so i'm gonna show you guys the next item is that everything that i meant to say about that yeah i think it is i'll probably price that about like 20 dollars and it's a size medium for anyone if you're watching this and you want to buy it and i'm pretty sure that's men's but i mean like it's a t-shirt so right it's women's too this one is a really good pickup it is guess what reformation which is great like i said in my last haul before recently every time that i've ever picked up reformation it's always had like a defect on it or like i couldn't sell it because there was a defect so good condition um reformation crop top it's like raining there's ambulances outside it's actually really vibey right now it's gonna rain until like three o'clock and this is your 8 p.m forecast coming to you live <laughs> out of nowhere <laughs> um so we have this reformation crop top really cute it has this like crisscross front and again with the navy blue stripes i think i considered keeping this but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be too big for me and um i don't know i don't know but yeah reformation and um it doesn't oh, i think reformation has a size tag here oh no that's everlane oh oh they do have it here let me see what size is it? It's a size medium. Okay, so let's see. But you didn't have to see, but I showed you anyway. So yeah, size medium. It does look a little big, so I don't think I'll be able to wear it, but reformation. Okay, so next we have some denim shorts. I've been thinking of some outfits for my Instagram, and I've been thinking of a lot of them with like denim shorts um or like denim cut off skirts type thing so i think that's like a vibe you guys should look into for the summer i'm actually thinking about pairing some denim cut off pieces with that pink zara top i think i showed you guys in my last haul um yeah i think i'm gonna try to make some outfits out of that um i'm gonna just tag my instagram here i was actually supposed to take those pictures this week but it'll probably end up being taken next week but yeah, stay tuned for that on my Instagram. So follow me. And uh, uh, yeah, so here are these BDG denim cutoffs. Super cute. I'm pretty sure these are my size. Like, like I'm not like super conservative in like the way I dress or whatever. But like sometimes I be like so like insecure to like go outside if I'm wearing something like too short that's crazy because I feel like people think what I wear already is short but it's like if my butt cheeks are out I'll be like no <laughs> but that's a look and I'm going to be looking into that look this summer we'll see how confidence goes but it's a look so we'll see how it goes but yeah here's some like denim cuffs and they are 29 waist so these are cute 
um bdg will do good on mercari i'm gonna say a lot on mercari if i'm like completely honest i need to get on that uh it's because i don't list for myself i actually have someone on the list for me as you guys know um and i think i think from like overseas where she is um mercari the website doesn't work there so she can't list on it she can't log in which sucks and god forbid you hold me reliable because oh man <laughs> that's why i got someone else to do it because i suck at like being consistent with listing and stuff i just suck at being consistent with those type of things so it's just like in order for them to be done just give it to somebody else to do but she can't get on to mercari so i haven't been listing on mercari and i need to solve that issue but Anyhow, uh, this is another pair of denim cutoff. These are like some Bermuda, Bermuda shorts, which I think are like really coming in right now. And I think personally are very cute and will be wearing. I actually considered wear, consider keeping this for myself today. I don't know if I should or not. Like, look at these. I'm like trying not to show my armpits, but at least you guys know I use deodorant um but yeah these are some top shop motto hayden jeans so i mean if you want to go buy them or if you want to buy them for me i'll put them in the link below you can like keep updated um but yeah some top top shop hayden jeans cutoffs super duper cute love these um and they fit me really well as well so a little pilling here but i would still wear them personally probably will wear them hopefully they don't sell before i get a chance to um okay so next up is a crop sweater i just thought i'd include this because it's a basic and um it's fashion nova so i think you could list this on ebay for about 30 dollars and it's just a basic cropped hoodie i think that's really good for like any time of year and like on a trend fashionable you know like to make any type of outfit with like a crop top of any sort really so that's like fashion nova oh and it's a size small i feel like a lot of the fashion nova that i picked up it doesn't have the size tags at least lately anyway see it doesn't have the size tag what is that why anyway maybe it's like one size fit all i don't know i don't really shop on fashion nova um i've been thinking guys you should tell me if this is a good idea i've been thinking like i should do like a video where i thrift like just one brand and then like show it to you guys and like a zara thrift haul type thing tell me if that's a good idea in the comments below so I could do that video. You should tell me. Because I've been thinking about it for a really long time. And I just have never done it. And I have like so much stuff I could. But yeah. Here we have like this terminal knit um, Zara top. Again, I just thought I'd show you guys this. Because I thought it was like fashionable. Like, you know, something I would wear if it was my size. I'm pretty sure it's too big for me. It's probably like a size large, I assume. I mean... In the way i would wear it but um it's a crop top but yeah cute um okay so this piece i like personally i mean like you might not like it right off the bat but i think if you just like hike the skirt up a little bit and like you know wear it like that with like a bucket hat and i was thinking like maybe some sneakers and some sports socks because those are also i wear really I think that'd be really cute or you could wear it with like a little bag and some sunglasses and some like little um like calf high boots i think that'd be cute too like a bucket hat um so yeah this is a little knit dress it's like button down i really like how the sleeves are like you know like kind of like the cap sleeves i really like this one a lot like the color and this oh my bad this was the back which is cute and this is the front which is also cute i guess you can wear it backwards though i mean like who cares no one would know um so this is theory 
size is small. Yeah, so I also plan on taking some pictures in this, um, but I don't have the bucket hat that I want to make the outfit. So I actually have some silver boots. That would be kind of cute. That would be kind of cute. Some silver boots with the gray dress and a bucket hat. I think a white bucket hat and some sunglasses and like a little little bag. I'm looking for like a the perfect little black mini bag. Keep stay tuned for future rep hauls. Um, that's really heavy to hold up. I'm like out of breath. I'm like, I need to slow down. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so small, look cute. I like this one. Next item, we have another sweater. This is really cute. It actually goes on my whole color scheme right now. Um, so this is an Urban Outfitters striped sweater. Like, obviously, I just really like the color and the mosaic color. And, um, I was actually watching back my video from last week. And I don't know if I bought this sweater before I watched back the video or after. And I was just thinking about how I said that, like, you can get, like, you can sell Urban Outfitter pieces for, like, $15 or $30. And it's like, what? not <laughs> just pick them up sometimes so she when they're really cute like i thought this was really pretty and um i would personally wear it so i was like i'm pretty sure someone will wear this and it's like really good condition so really pretty i really like this like even if you wore this in the house on me like it's so cute i really like this so yeah and i think i think this i'll probably price this at like three dollars Personally, I think I haven't done any like research, but like off the top of my head, that's what I'd price it at. Oh my god, my arm is like tight. Okay, so the next item is a dress. It's just this plain Mabel dress. I thought I'd show you guys so this one because I thought again it's like a staple. You could just wear it with like black socks and some sneakers you could wear it with like some cowboy boots like you could jazz it up however you want like whatever your style is so it's kind of just like this made while skater dress and it's a size extra small for me personally it's too big i mean too long but i mean i think the fabric's like easy to cut and if you're like one of those crafty gals that knows how to use like sewing machines and stuff then even better for you. I want to be in one of you crafty gals, like for real. I've been like dying to learn how to use a sewing machine. I've been like hoping to find one at the thrift store, but it hasn't happened. When I find one at the thrift store, that'll be my time to shine. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, so the next item, unfortunately, isn't right here. You gotta peek at the last item. The last item is so. The last item is so delectable. Like, it's just so great. It's delectable. Like, yo, like, oh my god. Like, I just have the taste of what it looks like in my mouth right now. Just thinking of it, it's just so nice. It's so cute. Oh my god. But I'm going to show you these pants first, and then I'm going to show you the last piece, which is the best piece. Yes. So the next item is Beta Brand. This is my first time picking up this brand ever. This, it might not be the first time I've ever seen it, but it's definitely the first time I've ever picked it up. And I'm pretty happy with the find. I can't remember how much I saw them go for on my phone. Let's do one search while we're here. Let's just do, maybe we'll do another, another search for the next item too. Let's just do a quick search on how much beta brand pants will go for. So I'm just gonna type in beta brand. My computer's actually going kind of slow today. And when I play music, it like stops. Like it's just been like, you know, you know, like that. I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully it's fine. How are you guys doing? It might just be title itself even, I don't know. Okay, so let's look at used. Let's look at by now. And let's look at apparently Beta Brand is like a bolo brand, I think. Um, I just saw like as usual some Instagrammers 
that's in the reseller community talking about it so I decided I was going to try to pick it up um okay so I'm seeing basically it goes up to 39 okay so here I see some one for 42 that was marked down probably um accepted offer here's 49 37 okay i'm seeing some in the 40s as well so i'm seeing from 32 up to 49 with the high six so saw like okay so yeah i think this can go up for 49 dollars i think i will go the high route because i see nothing really that looks like this and i think these are really nice pair of pants and this is really pretty color and it really goes with my little <laughs> look today um so yeah beta brand to excel really big as well you know how those bigger sizes are so yeah and it has these like cool pockets as well <clears throat> it's like these double pockets very nice love that and, and it's my first time picking up beta brand if i missed it already i think it's a see that so excited to see how those go all right so next and lastly is the best piece i don't know how much this costs i'm gonna sell for but it's stunning so the last piece is this christian dior bathrobe guys i mean robe it's not a bathrobe let me see So yeah, the last piece is this Christian Dior robe. It even has the belt still, which I was really surprised about. It has the belt. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Like, oh my gosh. Like, look at the fabric. Like, how it just shines. It literally looks like a cake. It looks like a wedding cake. It's so stunning. Like, I'm just, like, obsessed. It looks like a wedding cake frosting like a nice ass fucking wedding cake you know like pearls on it or something like it's so beautiful and like the lace this fabric is stunning i don't even know this oh it's 100 percent polyester must be some really really good polyester because it's really pretty like oh my god so nice and so obsessed with this and it is a size large i took some pictures in it and i don't even think the pictures that i took in it is like worthy of what it looks like so i'm gonna have to like retake my pictures because i'm just like obsessed we're gonna see how much this is how much this costs actually like um recently i don't know i think recently when i go to the bins the New York City bins. Um, um, Goodwill, Goodwill New York City bins. I'm trying to get those keywords in here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think every time we go to the bins, um, recently it seems like there's like a lot more of like, I want to say, I don't know, like it's like an Instagram kind of crowd, like a younger crowd there than before i would say you can't really describe it but like there's more i would say hipster Ugh, i can't think of the word but like you know like there's a lot more people my age as well there when i go there that like just look cool and like instagram famous tape thing you know type of people so yeah i was like in this bin and um was fishing around and there was like a couple of other people that like fits this like demographic and i'm just like surprised no one else saw this because the fabric is so pretty and then for it to be freaking like, christian dior i was like how did none of you see this i'm just gonna take this quietly and go home <laughs> so that's what i did i was just, like and from my business because i was like what how did none of you see this like what goodbye so yeah um 
So let's see how much it costs. I see 72, I see 34, 99, I see 67, 67, 77. I see 68 marked down, 32, 55, 42. I see 125 marked down. I see 58 marked down. I see, oh, that's a dress. Okay, that one was 150, but that one was a dress. Um, that one put it twenty nine ninety nine marked down. That one fifty. Um, forty five sixty eight. Guys, this is so pretty. Like, I am. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes when I think when things are really pretty, I do price them up a little bit, and I don't know. Sometimes I do that literally. So. I can wear it until it sells like you need to pay up to take this from me <laughs> so yeah until I'm like ready to I'm like okay I'm done with this and then if whatever it is that doesn't sell then I'll move it along but this I'm not really gonna wear it though so but also I'm just like yo I can really just like hold this on to this just like have it because it's so pretty like ugh. Even though it's not my size, but it's so pretty. Look what I just noticed. Oh my gosh. No way. Look at this. That is so freaking cute on both sides. Obviously, I'm in love and I can go on about this rule but forever, but I'm not. And we'll see how much I pay that for. Tell me if that was your favorite piece and how you feel about it in the comments as well because I really wanna know how you feel about it. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or is that just like such a fantastic piece? Like, bro. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for this Good Will Bins thrift haul. And I will see you in my next one next week. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your little thrift buddies and show them what I got. <laughs> okay, bye. I love you. See you next one.